Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is a video response to Shepard Smith, who uh, did a little news segment on Fox News, essentially debunking the whole Ebola thing. And I was very disappointed with Mr. Smith. I thought that he was... His video was very inappropriate. I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna gin up hysteria, but on the other hand, having Ebola here in the United States is a very situ serious situation. Now, I don't know squat about lifestyles in Africa, but our lifestyles would tend to spread this virus very quickly if it gets out in certain populations. Mr. Smith, on the other hand, uh, said there's no outbreak, nothing to worry about, nothing to see here, and then he, uh, inexplicably said, get your flu shot. That is irrelevant to the Ebola situation since the flu is a separate disease and it won't protect you from Ebola. Gotta be careful here. Um, the symptoms are the flu are similar to those of Ebola in the early stages, yes. That's only part of this that uh, jives with what he said. The flu shot's not all that effective anyway. We you know, have flu epidemic every year. The two situations are different. Flu is a seasonal thing. Ebola is year-round. Now, we had two uh, nurses who caught the Ebola from this person, and they you know, Neofam got together with her boyfriend, and they don't know that much about the other one, the other nurse. Uh, Nina Pham is improving. Looks like she's going to survive. I don't know about other nurse. I haven't heard much about her. But here's the point. They've been out in the public. They've been taking, you know, public transportation. One, all the nurse flew to, uh, Ohio for crying out loud and Nina Pham's boyfriend went to Fort Worth here's the thing though about this virus that people need to know we got we do a lot of stuff here in the United States that over in Africa they don't do because they're poor in church mice they're improving, yeah. They have airlines going in and out, which is to our detriment, because we should not be allowing anyone from West Africa, nations that are infected, into this, new, this country, period. For up to me, that bo southern border would be sealed. There would be no flights in from West Africa, no one allowed in from West Africa, period. You protect your own people first, then you help uh, the others. Because if we don't protect our own people, there's no point in trying to help somebody else. Because you're just going to kill your own people in the process. Uh, but Shep Smith apparently... I am very disappointed with the guy because this is all too dangerous of a situation. I don't care what you say, alright? We are in danger. And he had no business saying there is no outbreak in the United States. We don't know that. We also don't know that there is one. 
right? They're watching a whole bunch of people. Well, let me give you a little clue as to what can happen here. This is what I'm worried about. One of the things I'm worried about is this getting out into the junkie population when there's needle sharing and all that spread very quickly. Then you have swimming pools, public swimming pools, homosexual bathhouses, and in this country we have these things called pets. One of the things a dog will like to do is dogs like to roll in things that smell nasty. Why? Well, they're trying to mask their scent. They still have the instinct to hunt, even though they might be the best well-fed pooch on the block, but that doesn't mean they don't want to hunt. They do. It's in their nature. They're predators. So they're not going to roll in something nasty. This is one of my th concerns with Duncan. They're going to roll in something nasty in order to get the scent on them. We may have it, but uh, to the dog it makes perfect sense. And another thing, I'm going to catch hell for this. I believe that the common crow could be a vector for this. I did my little uh, PSA video and I showed the crow walking around in the puddle and picking stuff up from it because crows don't care. And then it carries it to the picnic table and maybe somebody sits there in the video and went to the bench and then the girl sits down on the bench and then maybe she gets infected and flies off to Buffalo watches a football game and so on and so forth. So there's a very high potential for this to spread very quickly in the United States. Now, whether anybody else is infected, that is what we don't know. It was irresponsible of Shep Smith to say there's nobody else infected. Uh, we don't know one way or the other. That's the truth. Now, as the days pass, the odds that anybody else is infected will seem to dwindle. But because I, one of the things I'm afraid of, like I said, is it's going to get loose into certain populations. And I didn't mention uh, things like the vampire subculture. Vampire sul subcultures, these people drink blood. They're not vampires like in the movies. They don't turn into bats. They're not impressed by crosses. They don't care about holy water. It's a fetish. They drink blood. That's one of the minor ways it could spread. And then you have the goth subculture. Uh, they're famous for self-mutilating. Then you have tattoo parlor parlors. I mean, need I go on? There's one way after another that this virus could spread. We don't know if it has escaped into the general population or not. If it has, we're screwed. If it hasn't, we'll know that. I would figure by mid-November, if not November, first of December, maybe mid-December, if nothing has happened, then you can pretty much call this case closed. Now, I have no way of knowing sitting here whether this has gotten into the general population. There's no way to tell. That's truth. Shepard Smith, I don't know what his motivations were, but they were wrong. It was plain and simple. He uh, never should have made this out to be something where... We're absolutely safe. Don't worry about it. Go about your business. I would be very cautious, especially in the Dallas area, about going into uh, public places right now. If it blows over, it blows over. A couple of African countries have got it under control. Senegal and Nigeria. 
Uh, I think they've been closing their borders and that has helped. Duh. You close your borders to disease, you keep the disease out. You'd think these sons of bitches would understand it, but they don't. Obama doesn't care. He wants disease to come here. That's obvious. And let's just say it. He's been airdropping... I don't want to change the subject, but he's been airdropping supplies to ISIS. That's been on the news. He's either got to be a serious retard or he's uh, a traitor. I mean, what else can you say? He drops, he's giving aid and comfort to the enemy. That was on Daily Beast. And of course, he lets disease on and he lets Ebola in. Don't panic, but be a little wary. I would kind of, especially if you're in some of these places like where the nurse went in Toledo, in uh, Ohio, I think it was Toledo, whatever. You know, maybe you cut down a little bit and wait this thing out for a while just to be on the safe side. Don't go out looting and burning and panicking in the streets. That really isn't warranted. But, I don't know, I would avoid some public spaces. I mostly just go to them from work. I have to work in order to eat, so I don't get a choice there. Since I live in Finger Lakes region, western New York, and since there's no uh, other confirmed cases of this, I'm kind of avoiding some public spaces. I canceled my one project to look at the illegals that are in the area. I did find one small child that was from Central America harmless. But that's about that. I would be a little... I don't know. If it were up to me, I would exercise some caution. And if it were up to me, I would ban all flights from West Africa. Period. In the subject. No one, get, no one from there comes here. Until the epidemic is gone. As for Shep Smith... He deserves a good solid tongue lashing. We don't know if there's an outbreak here. The incubation period is three weeks. Usually two days to three weeks. So we can wind up uh, with people dying in the streets or we can wind up with it's back to normal stuff. And I don't know which is going to happen. I honestly, you know, how am I supposed to know? Or don't. That's what Shep Smith should have said. We don't know what's going to happen with this. Keep calm. Maybe stay home a little bit. Avoid some of the public spaces until we're certain. That's what he should have said. Now, panicking and looting and burning, that's not acceptable. I, I would agree with that. But some... You need to take some precautions. And a flu shot is not going to help you. Period. In the subject. Uh, this is what really torqued me. Is that he said, get a flu shot. It is irrelevant. It will not protect you from Ebola. But that dirt bag had the audacity to make people think that it would. It won't protect you from Ebola. And it usually doesn't even protect from the uh, flu either. Well, that's my video response. Very disappointed in Mr. Shepard Smith. I don't want to stir up panic myself. I'm very concerned with the situation, which that liberal is not. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with this, people.
That's simple fact. Them artifacts of Mars. <laughs>